how did I become a behavioral scientist? So the short answer is that I became so a little bit accidentally. I was a product manager and read Predictably Irrational and thought, wow, there's a whole science of doing this much better. Thinking as a product manager, you think a lot about behavior change. How do you get someone to do X? At least in the work that I was doing, the company that I was at, far too much intuition driven. I think this is still the case in many companies now. Um, and it turns out there's uh, shortcuts and science and behavioral insights, a whole toolkit that we can rely on um, in combination with, with research me methodologies that we can learn, test, and improve products in accordingly. Uh, but many years ago, I, I read Predictably Irrational, and one of my actual reactions was, wow, people are paid money to have fun all day. <laughs> Why? I'm doing the wrong thing. Why should I need to do this? So that's the sort of short story of it. I think one point that's actually quite relevant there is coming from a product management background. Uh, it, th that does help me a lot now. Often I am interacting with product managers or product teams at the least. So I, am, I understand their constraints. I understand their mindset, how they're measured, how they think of success. Um, and so when we're collaborating with these teams and overlaying behavioral methods on top of their existing ones, it does help have that synergy and that background of how they, they operate. The longer answer of how I became a behavioral scientist is first and foremost that I grew up moving around the world. And so I think was always very curious about nature versus, versus nurture, how much of this is cultural, how much of this is learned, um, was curious about that majored in cultural anthropology, graduated and realized, wait, <laughs> what kind of job should I do? So started in product management. It wasn't entirely obvious what, what one does with, a, with an anthro degree, but I was interested in, in yeah, product management, marketing, had a variety of roles in that. And then gradually, as I became interested in behavioral science, figured out a path. Those were the early days, um, unclear exactly how to do that. So it took sort of creative thinking, um, being a little bit scrappy. I had a blog. Um, I worked with a professor and was sort of willing to say, hey, I, I want to learn how to do this. Uh, can, I, can I work in this space? Met with Dan Ariely early on and asked him, do I need to get a PhD? And he asked me a lot of questions um, around what type of work I wanted to do. And it and basically gave me the advice that I'd not necessarily need to, if I, my core interest was doing applied work. And I now share the same advice when people ask me this question as well. It really depends on what you want to do. Uh, so then for a, a number of years, I split my time working with Irrational Labs and working for Dan Ariely, uh, on a variety of projects, including startups, um, and now work full-time as a managing director at Irrational Labs.